Flash, Crash, Rumble and Roll by Franklin and Brenly, illustrated by True Kelly. This is HarperCollins Publishers book. Flash, Crash, Rumble and Roll. The day is quiet, the air is still and hot. Leaves do not move, flowers droop. Even the birds are still and quiet. There are big white clouds in the sky. The clouds grow bigger and taller and they get darker and darker. Look at those black thunderclouds, people say. We're going to have a thunderstorm. Warm air near the earth is rising into the clouds. The air goes up fast. Inside the clouds, it keeps moving upward. It may go all the way to the top and spill over. The clouds keep growing. After a while, the clouds may be 10 miles high. Wow, here's the earth and here's the air above climbing up and then spilling over the clouds even. The rising air carries water, but it's not liquid. It is a gas called water vapor. When water vapor cools, it becomes liquid water. That's what happens in the clouds to make them grow. Water vapor cools and changes into small drops of water and also into small crystals of ice. Air inside the cloud carries the water and ice up and up. The air gets colder. When it gets very cold, the air falls. So the air inside some parts of a cloud is moving up very fast and in other parts it is moving down, up and down. It's going up, very cold, and down, warming. Planes stay out of these dark thunder clouds. The rushing air cloud turn a plane upside down. It could even rip off the wings of the aeroplane. Also, there's electricity in the clouds. Each water droplet and ice crystal carries a tiny bit of electricity. There are billions and billions of droplets and crystals. So the amount of electricity gets greater and greater. When the amount is very great, the electricity jumps from the top of the cloud to the very bottom. It makes a giant spark, a flash of lightning. Meanwhile, the rain starts. First only a drop or two. Then the wind blows and the rain falls faster and harder. Water races down the street. There's more lightning. It may go from one cloud to another. Or it may reach a high building or a tree. The streak of lightning may be a mile long or even longer. Wow. Thunder comes after the lightning. The lightning is very hot. It heats the air. The hot air expands very fast. It makes sound waves all along the streak of lightning. The sound waves reach you at different times. When the first one reaches your ears, there may be a loud crash. As more and more sound waves reach you, the thunder rumbles and rolls. You make sound waves when you break a balloon. Blow one up and pop it. The air in the balloon expanded rapidly through the break in the skin. You made a tiny bit of thunder. Pop! There's only a little air in the balloon, so there's not much noise. Lightning moves lots more air, billions of times more, so there's lots of sound. 
there is no reason for us to fear storms. We know what makes thunder and lightning, and we know how to keep safe. The end.